spent the morning driving the new VF Commodore at Holden's Lang Lang Proving Ground and it's bloody good. There are a couple of areas where they've made noticeable improvements over VE. One is in noise, it's a much quieter car, much quieter in terms of engine noise, also road noise. But I think for me the biggest improvement is in the electric power steering because it feels quicker, the car feels more agile, um, it's more consistent in its behaviour, it turns into corners more quickly, so the car feels uh, more sporting, changes direction with a, a lot of agility, um, and even in the base car, which is now called the Evoke, the, the combination of ride and handling is, is very, very impressive. Um, the brake, brakes too are, it's a more linear pedal, more consistent, shorter travel. Um, the car, the ride and handling compromise in, on all of them, and we've been driving virtually every version, is, is excellent. There's less body movement, less lateral body movement. Um, the car feels more planted. Uh, and things like, for instance, on the SS Utility, which we've been driving, has a, a lighter gear shift, manual gear shift, clutches lighter. It's a very, very sweet combination. Um, it has what Holden calls the FE2 suspension, which means it's a little sporty. But that combination of manual gearbox, 3.6 litre V6 um, in the Ute, boy, it's, um, it's Australia's sports car. Um, the interior is a massive step forward. It's far more flamboyant, if you like. There are a lot more, it feels to have a lot more content in the car. Uh, instruments are easy to read. It's, it's a, the interior is a really, really impressive makeover. I think probably much more impressive than the styling changes, which to me, are okay, but I still prefer the purity of the the, um, the VE. I think the, the best looking of them is probably the SS, which is um, the car that will be sold in America as a Chevrolet. And, and it looks more different. Part of the problem is that I think that from front on, the cars just are a little too similar to the old car. Probably the big story is it's better to drive. It's more economical. Um, but beyond that, Holden have made massive price cuts. It's between five and ten thousand dollars cheaper, depending upon the model, than the the VE. So it's a pretty impressive message that they have. Whether it can s stop the slide in large car sales, well, I think it'll surely plateau, and should, given the value for money equation, um, I would th think that we'd be looking at a reasonable lift in sales once people get the get the message that it's. Um, you're getting a whole lot more car for your money.